Hello guys, today we're talking about Bruce Almighty, which is a, you know, a Jim Carrey movie, which, yeah, it's a movie about, well, you know, I'm gonna put a summary of the movie, if you haven't seen it, no, a summary of what the plot is, the plot, the plot synopsis, basically, Bruce Almighty, the guy named Bruce, who is played by Jim Carrey, basically is having a bad day, you know, he he get he loses his job. He meets, you know, he meets a guy, Morgan Freeman, who is essentially God of the Bruce Almighty universe, and he said he basically takes his job as being God, and he basically wants his job back. So he gets the guy. He complains about God is not him good. We so he now becomes God, and he can basically do whatever he wants. I'm not gonna spoil the whole rest of the movie for you, and there's also a lot. But now we're going over the parts of the movie. So first of all, this movie is really, really, really funny. You know, this is and this is spider considering that Jim Carrey stopped really making funny movies in two thousands and started making more serious movies. But really, sell shows with this box office of the movie making four to eighty four million dollars, which is more than a lot of the other movies made by Jim Carrey in the two thousands. It was one of his highest grossing movies. But of course, in Carrie is a like, good no more comedy. We don't want comedy, okay? You know? And yeah, if you look at his movies, it's also a film series too, so there's Bruce Almighty. I think that there's Evan Almighty, which is the sequel to Bruce Almighty as well. But of course it's not made it doesn't have it's not as it's not it doesn't have no Jim Carrey in it, so of course it's not as great as it's probably not as great as the first movie. So yeah. And yeah, basically, it's the worst of us. And of course, Jim, it wasn't made by it. Wasn't the thing that makes this movie great was Jim, made this movie great was Jim Carrey, essentially. That this, you know, it's the same thing with the other movie, The Mask. That's why nobody liked the Song of the Mask because the Song of the Mask, first of all, had ugly CGI, and second of all, it, it wasn't. It didn't have. It wasn't about Jim Carrey. Which he made the role of the Mask funny. Okay. Of course, there's other comedians, of course, that can make that can make the mask work as well. But of course, that's what made movies like Ace Ventura. That's what made this movie funny. That's what made Why Why funny. All of Jim Carrey's movies funny. It's because it's Jim Carrey. It's not. It's not anyone else. And yeah, so it's it as a six point seven on IMDb, which is actually pretty good. It's way better than its sequel. Its sequel flopped. It's we actually got a sequel, but flopped because it probably wasn't as funny. And yeah, what do I give this? What's and yeah, it's a pretty. It's a religious comedy movie. It is pretty funny that he is essentially turned into God. He can do whatever he wants, and he essentially does whatever he 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 does what he can do. You know, he really, he puts the moon towards the planet to cause more tidal waves or something like to so to oppress the other the other people in the movie. And yeah, I give this movie a solid seven out of ten. That's basically it. Goodbye.